What is going on, my beautiful dolls and divas? You see the before. You see the before. So your girl is trying to grow her hair out. Child, I don't know why I did purple hair. But um, it's going back jet black. We're going to go ahead and dye this joker. I'm going to use some Wella number two and the good permanent. Now we're back to jet black. Look at them beat a beads. Uh, I'm going to show y'all that I can grip anything and anything. And we got to go ahead and uh get this back here together. So I've been wearing a undercut since, shoot. Uh, the last time I had my hair cut in a design was October the 1st. So it is now February when I did this vid originally. <laughs> I did this tribal braid hairstyle for, you know, Black History Month. I'm always trying to do something that's current in the day and age. So I wanted to try my hand. Braiding is something that I have been doing when I first initially got into the hair game. I don't braid any longer, but I wanted to show my skills. You know, some people be like, I used to do this and I used to do that. Okay, isn't that wrong with it? But pull out your old bag of tricks to show them what you got. Show them what you got. Now, I have not braided my own hair to wear out in braids in over nine years. So I feel like I'm a little dusty. Don't be crazy in my comments. And that little dad gonna string y'all saying back and forth, child. That's the hair. I was doing my best trying to record and, you know, part and feel and all that. So this is just how I go about, you know, getting the parts together and how I am able to braid my own hair. And that rat tail comb is the truth, the truth, brick laying it so it won't be so gappy. So I'm going to keep on cleaning my part until I'm happy with it. Don't judge my myrrh. It got fingerprints all over it because my hands are full of product. I went ahead and put a little glove on the back of my um, on my hands because having that product on the back of my hand for hours is just not going to work, sis. It's just not. So... I go ahead with these and I'm starting off with a regular, you know, knotted type of, you know, cornrow and I'm feeding it in because it's so short. You see how short my hair is. You see how short it is. I got that little technique of wearing the glove and cutting at the fingers off somebody. I don't know who I seen the video who did that, but I was like, that's genius. And I know they got the little thing to go around your wrist, but like... I can't get, I can't retrain myself. They didn't have that when I came out with braid, braiding my hair. So it's a creature of habit. I'm used to putting it on the back of my hand, not on the back of my wrist. So don't be trying to say, Tanisha, they got something for that girl. I ain't got time. I do what I used to do. And that's put it on the back of my freaking hand. But feeding braids is just more forgiving. It's just more easier. You know, it took me three days. Three whole days to do my hair in between clients. And, you know, I was relaxing and watching TV. I went ahead and ombre the hair because I don't like wearing jet black hair. And I didn't have the confidence to start off and try to tuck, you know, and have all my hair jet black and have a number 30 and all that. So I stayed in my lane, used the jet black and then on braid at the end, you know. Having a braid rack is my best friend. You know, having it already sectioned out does help. You see it. You see the work. Ignore that damn string. That damn string of hair won't let my video be great. But it's good footage, right? This is good footage. And I had to go ahead and record myself so I could see that I actually, with your own eyes, with your own eyes... It was no help. I did the parting. I did the braids. Ain't nothing different. Ain't nothing new. But these are tribal braids, but these are not just individuals. So I'm kind of proud of myself for my first time, you know. Let me know in the comments below. Comment, share, subscribe, all that good tea, you know. Dolls and Devos. I'm, I'm going to keep on having the content come out weekly. So you might as well go ahead and get used to this voice. Big forehead, don't care.
Hmm. <laughs> Big forehead don't care. I went ahead and did a zigzag part. I wanted to do a middle part, but I was like, middle part has to be really accurate. So since I'm doing my own head, I went ahead and did a middle part with the zigzag to give me more of a more flattering, you know, design compared to a straight line because I got that full head. Uh, I got that full head. Uh, that full head had all of that beauty. <laughs> Let me stop joining on my damn self and stop playing. But right now I'm doing feed in cornrows like for real, for real, because it's long enough for me to go ahead and start off with my hair and then add in, you know, the already pre-stretched chemical treated hair. I hope y'all are digging this style on me. I'm getting so many compliments on this hairstyle. I was reluctant on doing my own, but I refuse to pay all that money. When I can do my own. I'm done. Psych. <laughs> We're going to finish this tomorrow. We're going to finish this tomorrow. Put the gems on. You know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty proud of myself for my first time doing some travel raids on my damn self. Three days into it. But hey. Let's get into it. Back view. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying my best, y'all. I ain't got nobody recording me yet. I'm going to get there because I'm a thousand now. Ow. I'm feeling it. I hope you feeling it. I'm feeling it. I hope you feeling it. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Deuces.